Good afternoon everyone, my name is Rafis Kamaliev and uh, today's topic is antidepressants. Uh, so most uh, modern antidepressants are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So this is the largest uh, and uh, most, the most uh, important group uh, in antidepressants and the most commonly used antidepressant for today is fluoxetine or Prozac. Prozac is very well known drug because there are many uh, stories about the Prozac and uh, the company that uh, first manufactured the drug and uh, marketed the, the drug had many issues with the uh, uh, with the authorities uh, because uh, because of the uh, adverse effects and uh, this uh, this is very well known story so that is why uh, fluoxetine and Prozac actually brand name for the fluoxetine uh, are very well known drugs not only in the medical society but also uh, in uh, among the other professions as well. So specifically for the lawyers and uh, for the economists and also the patients, so fluoxetine. And uh, despite that, uh, fluoxetine still is most commonly used antidepressant uh, because of the low uh, cost uh, and uh, also the effectiveness uh, because uh, uh, the effectiveness is the same as other drugs in this group, uh, including paroxetine, sertraline, that is Zoloft, is also well known for the adverse effects and the uh, cases for the uh, for the court cases, uh, and also uh, fluvoxamine, uh, that that is a uh, long-acting, and citalopram, uh, that is uh, Celexa. Uh, so it's also very well known antidepressant and most, li most re recently also escitalopram that is the longer duration acting of the citalopram so uh, so it's uh, marketed on the Alexa Pro so Pro means that it is prolonged acting Pro. so uh, so this is a group of the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and as you probably already understand the serotonin or 5-hydroxytryptamine that is a chemical name of the serotonin is a neurotransmitter of the well of the uh, joiners of the uh, uh, the positive emotions and that is why it's considered that the lack of the serotonin in the central nervous system is responsible for the development of uh, depression. Uh, however, it is, uh, it is not that simple because uh, there are many other reasons uh, for the development of depression. And uh, uh, depressions can be um, unipolar or bipolar. So bipolar depressions uh, are more complex to treat because they uh, uh, they can develop the suicidal attempts in patients, especially in young children, uh, so in teenagers, and that is why uh, most of the antidepressants are contraindicated uh, in teenagers. So because because they will increase the uh, the suicidal uh, thinking attempts and uh, that uh, is actually one of the contraindications for the antidepressants. Uh, adults can also develop that but uh, the less frequently and uh, depending on the development of the uh, uh, independence in the person so this a teenager behavior can be up to 25 years so that is why young adults 
are also or can be in the risk group so that is why uh, before before uh, administration of uh, uh, antidepressant uh, the physician have to uh, rule out the uh, bipolar depression and special uh, questions are given for that and then depending on the score on these questions the patient is either are diagnosed as bipolar or unipolar depression so in case of the unipolar depression then the, the treatment is can be done with the uh, one of uh, these groups of the antidepressants and most commonly if the it is the first time treatment of the depression then the patient will be prescribed a fluoxetine or sertraline or paroxetine so citalopram is actually can also be prescribed but rather less frequently uh, uh, seen because uh, it's only available in uh, in use so in European countries is less uh, common uh, then there are also uh, serotonin reoptic inhibitors that also inhibit reuptake of norepinephrine so this is a new group so this uh, appeared like about 10 years ago uh, or 15 years ago uh, serotonin and norepinephrine reoptic inhibitors uh, so and uh, venlafaxine was the first one and also duloxetine is uh, the, these two actually drugs are most commonly used and also this venlafaxine is a long-acting venlafaxine uh, and uh, levamilnaciprine is a new drug so this these are actually uh, usually selected when the treatment is uh, not going well with the previous group so uh, like these are very uh, effective drugs but also uh, have many side effects including the cardiovascular system and uh, also uh, require a frequent dose adjustment and monitoring and that is why only experienced uh, neuro neurologists can prescribe these drugs uh, because they require uh, 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 an experience of uh, managing patients that take these drugs uh, and usually uh, very frequently uh, these drugs are stopped or replaced because of the side effects because the side effects are so huge so that the benefit from the treatment is less than the side effects because some of the side effects include the cardiovascular diseases that can lead to the death and that is why physicians are usually uh, can stop uh, car can stop the, uh, these drugs just because of the arrhythmia uh, and that is very common so then uh, there are also tricyclic antidepressants so these are the old group so and one of the first antidepressants is the uh, amitriptyline uh, and this is the cheapest one so still can be prescribed in some developing countries and including Russia uh, and uh, amitriptyline is very effective but has many anti-muscarinic side effects including constipation uh, the uh, dry mouth uh, and uh, the uh, sleeping disorders the sedation uh, and urinary retention so all these uh, also limits the long prescribing and uh, because uh, and most antidepressants have to uh, to be taken for at least one month for the effectiveness to, to develop even though they they are uh, they are blocking activities uh, developed in one day 
the effectiveness develops two weeks later. So any antidepressant should be taken during two weeks for the development of the first uh, first effect on this, even slightly effect. And the maximum effect usually develops after one month and longer duration of the treatment. So, uh, and most of them are taken daily, like all of them are taken once daily, and all of them are oral. So, these all drugs are oral. Uh, and also, imipramine, so is the second one, so amitriptyline, imipramine, then uh, mapratiline, des imipramine is a derivative of the imipramine, amoxapine, uh, clomipramine, and then uh, nortriptyline, uh, and other actually are less commonly used. So, the most common is amitriptyline and imipramine. So, uh, they are available in every country, so that is why very cheap, cheap as a hell. Uh, so like amitriptyline is like, uh, I think five dollar per package. So package is twenty tablets, and almost for the one month. So actually very cheap. And then uh, there are also monoamine oxidase inhibitors. These are the uh, the most uh, uh, the oldest group. So and uh, has many side effects, including the uh, contraindications, the cheese cheese uh, syndrome, and uh, mostly include sergiline that is uh, selective, but also others like. Uh, uh, phenylzine and isocarboxazide, uh, but seligiline is the only one still are used uh, as uh, uh, commonly. Others are not prescribed anymore. Uh, so because seligiline is uh, selective for the and has less side effects. And uh, then uh, there is. A group of atypical antidepressants and these are only prescribed for the patients for those the normal or typical antidepressants that, that are all other antidepressants are typical so if all of them are ineffective then usually uh, atypical antidepressants are prescribed and that, that includes mirtazapine and nefazadone uh, other so most commonly used is the uh, uh, mirtazapine uh, and uh, trazodone is also seldomly used but mirtazapine is most common so these are atypical antidepressants and they can be effective uh, even in those patients in whom all other antidepressants fail to be effective uh, but because of the side effects they also are not very well tolerated and that is why usually are not prescribed at all so it's very uh, uncommon prescription uh, so and uh, for the mechanism of action so selective serotonin reoptic inhibitors they inhibit reoptic of the serotonin in the central nervous system uh, serotonin and norepinephrine reoptic inhibitors have the same mechanism of action as tricyclic antidepressants. So tricyclic antidepressants are named because they have three cycles that are fused uh, and their mechanism of action is the same as for the uh, venlafaxine. Uh, so that is a serotonin and norepinephrine reoptic inhibitor. Uh, but that o the only difference is that tricyclic antidepressants also have uh, anti-muscarinic action but these are not having anti-muscarinic action that is all the difference so but the mechanism of action is the same uh, and these are the old tricyclic are old and these are the new drugs but the mechanism of action uh, is identical uh, then uh, mono uh, I mean oxidized inhibitors inhibit mono amino oxidized that is uh, uh, 
decreasing the level of serotonin. So serotonin is more selective for the type B that uh, inhibits, sorry, type A that is inhibits the uh, ser uh, the serotonin and epinephrine, also not not epinephrine. Uh, so and uh, monoamino oxidase is usually active and decreases the, the levels of the neurotransmitters, including serotonin. That is why uh, inhibition of this enzyme will lead to the increase of the serotonin and that will lead to the uh, compensation of the depression. Uh, however, these are not selective. They don't select through the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. That is why there are many side effects. So including the cheese syndrome, so the cheese syndrome is seen when the cheese is taken together with the mono amino oxidase inhibitors or any other food that is uh, very rich in tyrosine amino acid that is usually uh, anchoses, uh, wine uh, and uh, uh, also sal salmon uh, like the uh, dried salmon and many many tasty things tasty food cannot be taken together with this that is why patients don't like this group so uh, because uh, uh, they they like to eat food so that is tasty that is why like they like a cheese um, wine so that is why uh, this is seldom prescribed also, before if uh, switching the patient from these monoamino oxidase inhibitors if, uh, or to this group, a two weeks uh, window should be taken between the uh, drugs. So, so there is no uh, cheese symptomatic develop because inhibition of the norepinephrine reuptake uh, together with the inhibition, for example, of the uh, monoamino oxidase that is also decreasing the uh, norepinephrine that will lead to the very high norepinephrine and that will lead to the increase in the heart rate increase in the blood pressure so that is also a cheese syndrome so that is why uh, should be used with the caution so when switching patient from any antidepressant to monoamino oxidase or vice versa requires two weeks of uh, no drug interval. So uh, during these two weeks, the previous antidepressant should be completely gone from the body. Uh, and same for the monoamino oxidases if they are taken first, or were, take, were taken first. Uh, so uh, and that is it for the antidepressants. So depression is actually usually treated for like several months and uh, sometimes several groups of the drugs are used uh, one by one just in random combination but usually they start with the fluoxetine if fluoxetine is not effective then we can use a uh, uh, venlafaxine and uh, then actually I would recommend a atypical antidepressant uh, but also you, we can try uh, three cyclic antidepressants, but avoid more amino oxidase inhibitors. These are not good antidepressants. Uh, so, and the uh, second disease that we will treat today is also a bipolar disorder. So, as uh, you already know, that the depression can be unipolar, so that is treated with the antidepressants, but it can also be a bipolar. So, in case of the bipolar, it is a bipolar disorder. And this is very rare disease, uh, but still, uh, bipolar disorder will lead to the uh, two persons in one uh, human, in one body. So one one person can be normal, another person can be crazy. So and is they it schizophrenia. Will, uh, no, it's not a schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, the patient is always crazy, <laughs> ah. unless the uh, there are some. Uh, like when they take drugs, they are normal, but as far as they stop taking drugs, they are crazy, <laughs> <Okay>. always. 
they can be uh, very cleverly clever uh, so and may do very famous things uh, so like uh, they can have a good memory uh, but they are very crazy uh, so uh, like for example I think have you watched a movie about the professor yeah Nobel Prize in economy uh, oh yes yes that, that that's one as well so yeah. the m mathematician that actually was also a schizophrenic uh, but I mean not the real uh, one but uh, the fiction about the uh, the movie yes the movie is uh, with professor uh, I forgot the name but still uh, he was like a old uh, and oh, he, he was a murderer uh, 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 okay so then uh, the bipolar disorder is actually uh, treated with a lithium the only drug is available is lithium so lithium is uh, actually a metallic uh, and uh, is uh, have many adverse effects so but is the only drug that is that is effective for adolescents uh, both for the children as well and teenagers also uh, so the disease can be seen in all ages so uh, uh -huh. and also uh, for the uh, uh, the valproic acid also can and lamotrigine gene uh, can be used uh, uh, for the uh, for the treatment of the ammonia so and also carbamazepine so these are uh, the drugs uh, valproic acid is also uh, anticonvulsant and the same is for the lamotrigine uh, so and I think that is it for today uh, so uh, the antidepressants are actually the m most new uh, new type new group of the drugs because they have been developed in the end of the previous century so uh, most of the drugs are 25 years or 30 35 years old so and uh, they are usually very more expensive than other drugs for example the venlafaxine uh, treatment can be as much as uh, I think uh, two hundred dollar per month uh, and uh, some combinations can be even uh, more expensive only that is only for the treatment for the cost of the uh, prescription cost uh, but then also the visit ups uh, follow-ups are also required so that is why uh, titration of the dose is required so that is why the total cost of the treat treatment can be up to 1000 USD per month and most of the developing countries uh, patients can don't have uh, that money so that is why they cannot uh, afford a uh, treatment of the depression and that is why depression is very common disease that are under treated so that is why uh, uh, so also the psychological treatment is uh, important so uh, not only the medicational treatment so the uh, uh, the pharmacological treatment is used but also the uh, support from the uh, psychologies can be very helpful for the treatment and sometimes even more important than the pharmacological intervention uh, because uh, depression usually is the type of the response of the uh, body that is usually uh, for the specific uh, reason so uh, it usually happens uh, maybe just uh, in, in, in some cases doctor um uh, the reason for depression could be like the the lifestyle and the behavior of the person and once once there is a change in, in the behavior and the, the lifestyle there's an improvement on, in like the 
symptoms of depression and depression? Oh, uh, uh, about the changes changes in the life. Uh, so depression can be normal for some circumstances, like for example the death of the family member. So, but usually it will not last several months or even a year. So, uh, and it is self healed. Uh, uh, usually, but if it is not, then that, that is a reason for the uh, uh, for the uh, presenting to the neuro ne neurologist and for the starting of the treatment. So, uh, like normal, it's depression can be normal uh, for the specific reasons. So, but it is not normal if it's long and uh, preventing the uh, the work or the life so that is why uh, so should be treated uh, unfortunately it's hard to treat because uh, on the most of the uh, we we don't have much knowledge about the development of the depression and the mechanism because all the mechanisms listed here are just proposed so they we don't have an idea about the real mechanism because the real mechanism is more complex so and we cannot I find out it with our brain because it happens in our brain inside of our brain so it's very hard to uh, to identify something what happens in the brain with the same brain so like we we need some another type of the organism that is more highly developed to understand what's happening in our brain so that is it thank you very mm -hmm. much for your attention well, thank you doctor. thank you thank you have a nice evening. Good. Uh, have a nice day too, and see you uh, at the practice. Mm -hmm. See you. Okay. See you. Bye.